Okay, I'm doing this as a follow-up to the other video. Um, we, what I did was I set, I, I settled upon some different settings because the CPU was getting too hot. Here's what I have now, and this is totally stable for uh, extended periods of time, and uh, it also stays below 60 degrees, which is nice, makes me happy. So here's how I have it set up. Um, everything here uh, is pretty much automatic, except here at the turbo core, I forced it enabled. I uh, found when I left it at auto for some reason, it did not, uh, the speeds weren't the same, almost as though it were not on in the first place, so I just forced it on. I uh, have the, multi I'm sorry, the CPU frequency at, um, oh, this would be the bus at 217, and I'm going to scroll down to, everything else is at auto, you could pretty much just load the defaults for the BIOS and I set this the RAM at 1600 because by um, increasing the bus speed this goes over 1866 if I want to use 1866 so it's um, too fast so I just set it at 1600 and the bus the increase in the bus speed gives me this 1736 um, for the RAM and everything else is the same on that page. So it's pretty much just default and then set this to 217, this guy here, and then I set the RAM and I forced the turbo core enable and uh, let's see, I believe that's it. I don't think I changed anything in here. Cool and quiet is still on, the turbo core is on. Now, uh, I haven't made any changes, so whatever, but you save those changes and exit. I'm going to show you guys the benefit to doing this, because you could just do what I did in the other video, and you'll get all six cores running at four gigahertz. But when you try to do something single-threaded, it's still four gigahertz. It won't go up to the 4.1 turbo. What I've got it at, it's... um forced at 3.8, so we're slightly under 4, but the good part about this is leaving the turbo core on uh, enables those single threaded scores to go way above um, 4.1. So, okay, so here we can see um, all cores are running at 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1. And the turbo now takes it up to 4.4. .4 see that occasionally. Um, I like leaving the uh, cool and quiet on because when I'm not using the, the CPU the thing idles at 1.5 and that's that's pretty cool I like that. So what I'm gonna do is just run the CPU test on this thing and keep an eye on the speeds. So it is at 3.8 3797 and it's going to stay there. You might see it jump around a little bit, but uh, this is only 200 megahertz slower than my other overclock. The difference with these settings is that when I run a single threaded bench, or if I do anything that requires single thread, the turbo core is going to jack that speed up, and it's going to go way past 4.1, which is good. So with these settings, I don't have a 4 gigahertz overclock on all six cores, but I do have an overclock to 3.8, and the turbo core will enable the single-threaded, um, you know, applications to go well above the stock turbo. And my happy little stock cooler here manages to keep the processor under 60 degrees, which is good. So I'm not going to get that 5.17 or whatever it was in the other video, but I am going to get close to 5. I think it's 4.92. 
4.86. Well, I've gotten a better score than that. Um, right here. I've gotten 4.93 with it. Same settings. Um, now, let me show you the other thing. I'm not going to save that. HyperPy is a pretty good test for choosing number of threads. So, if I set this to one processor, um, I'll set the priority to real time and uh, give it like 4 megs so I can have some time to show this. Okay, I've got it running on one thread. You can see that um, Cinebench used all six used all six cores and HyperPy is only using one and you can see that up here it's using core zero and none of the other cores on this most of the single threaded benchmarks I've seen on this system or at least not on this system but most of the single threaded benchmarks I've seen the single core performance jumps around between the cores it doesn't stay on one like this does, so I think this is a pretty good um, way to test that. Now, look at the speed. That core is at 4.448, or in other words, um, I guess it's like 4.45 gigahertz. Well, that's single-threaded. The other cores are at 4.1, but they're not doing anything. And I believe this is beneficial especially because most of the stuff I do with these uh, with this computer is not multi-threaded so if it's like just a single threaded application like a game or something that only use one, one uses one thread um, or I don't know maybe it's a uh, maybe it's video or something that, that's only using one thread this um, and you can see it jumping around but this is really this is much better than 4.1 turbo the trade-off is that all six of my cores do not run at um, 4 gigahertz like I had in the other in the other overclock so um, use whatever settings you like if you have a better fan of course you can go fat you can go higher than this but uh, for the stock fan I think this is a pretty good deal